Now, it was vital Sunday evening viewing, and I bet you were watching it. Back in the 80s, up to 17 million people tuned in to watch Howard's Way. The romantic and business entanglements of the Howard family ran for six series, and it was filmed in and around the Solent. Well, this year marks the 30th anniversary of the show's first airing. David Allard has taken a look back. The year was 1985, and the BBC's new Sunday night family drama would reflect the spirit of the decade. It was the brainchild of experienced producer Jerry Glaster. The difficulty is to set the family in an unusual setting, and I think uh, this uh, is a setting which hasn't been used before for this kind of family saga, really. And Jerry's idea had a lasting impact on this part of the South Coast. The waterfront here at Bursledon, with its yachts, posh houses, boatyard and pub, was the setting that inspired the creation of Howard's Way, and much of the series was filmed here. Tom, if it's another boat, I should go mad. <laughs> the story tackled a situation faced by many families in the 80s. The fact is, I've been made redundant. Tom, no. To his wife Jan's horror, Tom Howard invests his redundancy money in the ailing mermaid boatyard. In reality, the elephant boatyard, owned then and now by Tom Richardson. They didn't impinge on our sort of working life. The only thing we were aware of is we didn't want to interfere with our customers doing things on their boats more than we had to. That everybody worked really well together. In fact, Glen Owen was great because he uh, bought all the guys in the yard a barrel of beer in the, in the jolly and was having a proper launching party in there for the, for the, for the guys. Good. South Today met the cast before they had any inkling of the success to come. Among them, 23-year-old Tracy Childs, who played Tom and Jan's daughter, Lynn. <laughs> There was Lynn Howard, kind of just out of university and, frankly, a spoilt brat. Um, and uh, at the same time, passionate about sailing. And turning Tracy into a competent sailor was the task of Lymington yachtsman Bob Fisher. So Bob Fisher kind of put us on a boat and we thought, right, this is it, the whole weekend, really serious sailing. And he sailed us to the Isle of Wight and then we had a four-hour lunch and sailed back. I think you're right. That was more than a lot of fun. But perhaps on some occasions when we were doing this, um, when she was steering it ostensibly, uh, I might have been lying on the cockpit floor with my <laughs> hand on the, on the wheel. Oh, I remember this. It really wasn't nice. They nearly drowned me with the water cannons. I couldn't stand up, I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. That's a really not nice scene. I remember it. This was me suffering for my art here. <laughs> so Howard's Way had its characters, stories and setting. With transmission looming, Simon May from Surrey supplied the final ingredient to hook the viewers in. Howard's Way is a very simple melody, actually. Um, and that took as long to write as I've just taken to play it. And that's how it should be. In the intro of Howard's Way, uh, I sampled seagulls. So from the moment you heard the theme, you knew you were in the estuary. I had to have a combination of the sea, the ocean, love, romance, lots of action, all the things you'd expect in a good soap opera. Howard's Way was on its way to six years of success. But as we'll find out tomorrow, there were some choppy waters ahead. Go on, admit it. You were singing along to that signature tune, weren't you? I bet you were. And uh, there'll be a BBC Radio Silent special to mark 30 years of Howard's Way, uh, presented by Tracy Childs, who we saw there, this Monday at 9am, and that's Howard's Way, a South Coast saga. And, of course, we'll have more on South today tomorrow.